Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I want to show you two methods that can be used to construct a regular hexagon when given the length of one side. Hexagon is a polygon that consists of six sides. We will first draw our line AB to measure 60 millimeters. We will then identify point A and point B. Next, we will outline our line AB. We will now open our compass to 60 millimeters or to AB and we will use A as center to scribe an arc from B. We will then use B as center with the same radius and scribe an arc from A. The two arcs will intersect at O. O will now be the center for our compass. And we will now draw a circle that will touch point A and also point B. We will now set our compass to 60 millimeters or to AB. Then we will identify point C and point F. From C as center, we will scribe an arc to cut the circle. We will also use F as center and we will scribe another arc to cut our circle. We will label these points E and D. We will now draw a line from A to F, F to E, E to D, D to C, and B to see. Our hexagon is now A, B, C, D, E, F. This is method one that can be used to construct a regular hexagon given the length of one side. We will now look at method two to construct our hexagon. We will first draw a line. On this line, we will identify points A, B, which is 60 millimeters. We will outline A, B, and we will identify point X to the left of A and point Y to the right of B. A to X and B to Y are random measurements. We will open our compass to a small convenient radius to draw 260 degree angle at A and another at B. From A, we will scribe an arc from the XA line. The center for our compass is A, where the arc intersects the XA line 
will now become the center of our compass with the same radius we will scribe an arc to cut the first arc we do. We will now use B as center and from the B Y line we will scribe an arc where the arc intersect the BY line will become the center of the compass and we will scribe another arc to intersect the arc we just drew. We will identify the intersection of the arcs and we will draw a line from A through the intersection to give us our 60 degree angle. The 60 degree angle is XAF. From B, we will draw a line through the intersection of the arc to also give us the 60 degree angle. Next, we will open our compass to AB, which is 60 millimeters, and we will scribe an arc to cut the line from A. From B, we will also scribe an arc to cut the line. We will identify these points as C and F. We will now use our T square and our set square and we will draw a perpendicular line from A. Ensure your T-square is held firm against your drawing board or table. We will also draw a perpendicular from B using our T-square and our set square. Ensure your T-square is held firm against your drawing table. With our compass open to AB, we will use point F as our center to cut the vertical line we just drew. We will also use point C as center to cut the other vertical line. The two intersections we just got gave us point D and point E. We will now draw a line from point D to E, from D to C, E to F, A to F, and B to C to give us our regular hexagon. Now today we have used two different methods to construct a regular hexagon given the length of one side. I will now border my paper, complete my title block, and label my drawings.